Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome again to another edition of the EFLEX Onyx Show where we showcase local businesses within the Fraser Valley and the ones that are doing, in my opinion, the best job in marketing their products and selling their products and making their customers delightfully happy. Today I want to showcase a product called Almond Butter Crunch and right on the top of the box it says one bite and you're hooked and they are right. Let me give you the, the lowdown of what happened. Hey, by the way, do you like the studio I've done? A couple of changes here. I've, I've got an old antique vintage radio. Get out of the way. <laughs> See that? Uh, it's from the 40s. So you, if you can imagine, people were listening to World War II on this very radio. And it has uh, all it needs is to one tube to get working to maximum capacity. So I gently took out the big, huge speaker out of it. And I have a set of really beautiful studio monitor speakers, so I put those in with a little subwoofer, so now my sound comes out of this gorgeous old vintage radio. It sounds really neat. And we've taken the, uh, the mixer board and put it on a little stand here, and we've dressed up the studio, got a few plants here, so I hope you enjoy the new digs. Anyway, getting back to this almond butter crunch, uh, about a week ago, my wife and I were in the grand opening of the new Superstore, you know, the one on Whatcom. I suggest you go and check it out because they've done such an amazing job of marketing this store. And somebody told me that uh, they have something very unusual in this store. I think it was the entire store was done with LED lights. Now, I have a server cabinet on my right and I have a server cabinet on my left that you can't see. But I've encased them with LED lights because LED lights do not get warm or hot. They're a diode. They don't have a filament. So I want my servers to uh, have uh, stay at a special certain temperature. So that's why I can't have bright lights that produce uh, even warmth in my server cabinets. So I'm walking down the aisles, and you know, of course, anytime anybody has a store opening, they have little free samples. If you've ever been to Costco, I'm sure you've seen that phenomenon. And I come across this one beautifully decorated table, and a polite young lady on the other side, and she's standing up, and she's, she's passing out her, her samples. And I said, oh, what do you got there? And she said, almond butter crunch. She said, I make it locally in the Fraser Valley. And I said, hold it. You make it? Because I just assumed that when I saw the box, I assumed that, uh, you know, the store had contracted a big candy maker uh, to supply this, this beautiful product. And she said, no, I, I make it um, handmade in the Fraser Valley. And uh, I'm quite taken with it. And I'll read you from the box. It says, at Fraser Valley Gourmet, we use only the freshest and highest quality ingredients when making our renowned almond butter crunch. We believe it is this commitment to quality that makes the difference and results in a flavor and texture that is simply unrivaled. And they're not kidding. It says one bite and you're hooked. And truly, if you have one bite of this, as a matter of fact, <laughs> if you'll notice as I open up the box and show you, there's only half left. Yeah, and I made the mistake of showing my wife. She said, what are you going to do? And I said, I'm going to do a podcast, so I have to have some of the product left. But this stuff is amazing. Not only is the product delicious, and I had to buy a box, but take a look at what they've done with the packaging. They've given it a really nice shape. It, it looks good this way. It looks good this way. It looks good this way. You can stack it three or four different ways. The colors are nice. They've got a beautiful beige and a, like a, a purple with a gold stripe. And you should see their website. I'm going to split this podcast into two parts because I can't uh, show you the website in its full glory if I'm talking here. So uh, stay tuned for the second part because their website is just it's a delight to look at. They have done great things in coloring in white space. They've put uh, they've put uh, things that you know the the the, the things that go by and, and you read on the bottom. They they've just done such a great job of balancing that website. And I think this should this particular product and the website should be studied. Anybody any entrepreneur that is thinking of of uh, creating a business. I don't care whether you're whether you're in real estate or whether you're in foods or whether you're in podcasts. Take a look at your packaging, take a look at your techniques, take a look at your advertising, take a look at what you're doing for social media. These guys are doing everything right. So um, go down there and take a look and it's called Fraser Valley Gourmet and um, premium handcrafted candy, unrivaled flavor, nothing artificial. And you know what the, the first ingredient is? <laughs> you're going to love this. First ingredient, you would think it's sugar, but oh no, it is butter. Oh, this stuff is so delicious. It's uh, okay. I gotta go and have some right now. So, but stay tuned for part two because I gotta show you this website. It is phenomenal. So, hats off to you for Fraser Valley Gourmet, whoever you are. 
two thumbs up. Thanks for coming and seeing the Rick Holland at the, at the eFlexonics, and we'll see you again next show. Part two coming up. Bye bye. And hello again, back for the second half of this podcast outlining the Fraser Valley Gourmet. Now, in the first podcast, I, show, I said that I would uh, show you around the webpage, and what a delightful webpage it is. She's done a really good job, of, or whoever's designing the webpage, and, and hats off to them as well for doing a great job. They've matched the colors from their, their product box onto their website. If you take a look at where my mouse is pointing, right here, They've gone kind of like a mottled beige, which is very, very pleasing, very neutral on the eyes. And they've followed up with a purple bar, same as their box, and then this beautiful gold highlight here. Um, very well balanced, very nicely done. So let's take a look. Let's go from um, left to right, just the way you would read a paper is the way I like to observe a, um, a web page. So click on that first. Fraser Valley Gourmet takes you to, obviously, the homepage. Now, look at that picture of the, you know, this is the second part of the podcast, right? And I finished the third, uh, the first part about a half an hour ago, and I had to wait while the video rendered the first part, and I've eaten about a quarter of the box, so I'm all full of their product and full of sugar. So it says, get some today. So what happens when you click on get some today? Oh, look at this. See, this is really intelligent. It gives you the retail locations. And what they've done is they've, they've done a really good job of intelligent use of white space. Now, white space means follow my mouse. See all that? You don't want a tremendous amount of activity to smother the page. They've got just enough. And then, of course, when you get here, you can just click on there and it'll give the address and the phone number of that particular place, right? Like Campbell's, Harvey Gold, or Save on Foods, you know, Sumas and Chilliwack. So they've, they're available in quite a few places. Look at that. Whistler, Surrey, West Vancouver, North Vancouver, Langley, my goodness, uh, Vancouver, Victoria, all over the place. And uh, it says here, we love our new website. And I'll tell you what, I do too. I'm, I'm a big fan of this, uh, of this whole, the whole concept. Somebody has, has really done their homework when they've put this together. Now, let's go over to the Facebook button. And see, a lot of what, what a lot of designers do is they make the mistake of, of just smothering their page with, you know, from here to here, they give you 26 ways to get a hold of you. One well-placed Facebook button is a nice touch. And look at that. It gives you what you want to see, Fraser Valley Gourmet. And look at the comments that some of the people have put down here. Not logged on. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to log on. It says, uh, it was a fabulous store opening at the new Save on Foods in Whatcom Road the last four days. That's where I was introduced to the product. We demoed lots of almond butter crunch and met so many great people. Thanks to everyone who took the time to speak to me. I was one of those people. You all made my day. Happy Thanksgiving, and I'll keep you posted where I'll be demoing next. Now, that's the woman that makes her own, makes this product. And another comment down here. Steph Kennedy Petri, your almond butter crunch is a hit. Well, I can attest to that. <laughs> and there's a picture right here. I'm doing a great job at the Fraser Valley Gourmet demoing. Look at that. See, so that, they're doing the right thing. They're, they're putting pictures up there. They're using social media. See what I'm talking about? Their boxes. Their boxes, their boxes look great. Faced this way, the front, and faced on the side. Look at that. There's a, and it'll show you how you can demo their product and how you can display their product. This is, a, this is smart marketing. This is really smart marketing. I like it. So let's go back to the page. And uh, it says uh, about. Well, let's take a look at about. Let's read the story. I'll read it for you. Sit back and relax, folks. I'll read it for you. Fraser Valley Gourmet was founded in 2006 when Catherine Geiger finally allowed herself to be convinced that people were going nuts over the almond butter crunch candy she had been making as Christmas gifts for 15 years. It began leaping off trade show tables immediately and can now be found doing much the same at various shops in the Vancouver area. Hats off. Now, here's the points. Handmade. Locally produced, no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives without additives, that's a big plus, and produced with the freshest ingredients. So they're saying, here, here we are, this is our story, and they're telling the story 
Uh, very well. And here again with the uh, with the uh, picture of the product and little talkers down here. One bite and you're hooked. <laughs> it's true. I defy you <laughs> to pop one of these pieces of that product in your mouth and not walk away with a box. It's just fantastic. Meet the founder. Okay, let's click and meet. There she is. Always had a love for baking chocolate and candy, and so it gives you this the entire story of who she is and bordering on an obsession. So I oh, look at this now. Sight by first base. First base, they need to be uh, two thumbs up too, because I'll tell you what they have done a stellar job designing this website as well. So first base, you've done a great job. So ha premium handcrafted candy, unrivaled flavor, and nothing artificial. Bulk orders. So let's click on there. So you can get this in bulk. All you have to do is put your information in there, and then they've got a capture code verification so they don't get flooded by robotic orders, and then you can submit your order there. Great. We love our new website. Yeah, no kidding. They should be very proud. Well, you're here. What do you think? Send us an email and let us know what you think about the new site. Are there any features you would like to see added? I think they do just done a great job with this new website. You got the right product with the right packaging at the right time. I mean, this is just a clear winner. So get in touch. So we've covered the Facebook button. Now let's go and click on the get in touch button. See, again, very, very simple, very basic. You can put your message there. So hats off to everybody involved with the Fraser Valley Gourmet, the people that put in all the time, the owner, she's a, was a delightful person to visit with, and uh, she certainly has a winning product there. Learn more. Yeah, what a hit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was a study. You know, I, I love to see businesses do this. She's going to be, if, if she isn't phenomenally successful, you just wait. Because th this, this product and this company with this kind of passion and dedication to excellence is just going to do nothing but grow and grow and grow. So I would say support this wonderful company by, uh, by going down there and, and giving Catherine Geiger kudos and two thumbs up and let her know what you think of her product and go to the uh, retail locations all here where you can pick up that fantastic almond butter crunch hey listen uh sitting in front of me i see there there's about five pieces left <laughs> i gotta go and finish these up folks <laughs> thanks so much for watching the show we'll see you again this is rick holland for eflexonics take care